Hello, my name is Michael. And I'm Haley. And welcome to this episode of Just Make Game. Hello again, everybody. Can you believe that it's been 12 months I've been working on the current project? That's, um, yeah, time just flies, doesn't it? So this month I got to do my Fishman animation. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I am definitely getting faster at this. One of my favorite parts about animating is doing the smears. Smears are really fun and they look really weird. Have a Google of Simpsons smears or Looney Tunes smears for a good time. They're pretty whack looking. So I'm actually starting to understand and put into practice some of the animation terms that I come across. The 12 basic principles of animation make a lot more sense to me now and they're kind of in the back of my mind when I am animating sprites. I still have a very, very long way to go until I'm an animation genius like Mario Cartwright, but if I keep this up for another 30 years, I reckon I'll probably get there. Now there's a link in the description if you don't know who Mariel Cartwright is. She's a lead animator for Skullgirls and she does a really good GDC talk on different animation techniques to make your animations look really powerful. I'm just now starting work on the intro animation. So I'm kind of confident animating sprites now. I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, but changing to this intro animation, I'm kind of like, oh cool, I don't know what I'm doing again. I'm pretty used to this feeling now, so I'm just gonna embrace it and try to make something really rad, even though I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. So I've just started planning out the very basics of this video. So I'm kind of taking Mike's storyboard animation that he did and replacing it with some really like simple blocked out pixel art. I'm trying really hard to keep in mind that the shots need to be interesting. I've never made a film before, but Mike is pretty top notch on his film theory. So he's getting a lot of questions about how to arrange the shots and what's going to look good. It's actually really fun to put these shots together, but it's a bit of hard work and my brain struggles sometimes. I'm pretty chuffed with how the desk image is looking. Now keep in mind this is really basic early days stuff. There will be animation here, it's just really simple blocking out the, the scenes at this stage. I've also been working a few extra shifts at my part-time job just to put a bit of extra coin in the bank. Which is good, because then we have more money in the bank but it's bad because I lose time on the game. But it's good because if we have more money in the bank, then we can work on the game for longer. But bad because I'm spending time somewhere. So the main thing that I did this month was all those little tiny weapons that you saw last month and even the month before have been uh, all implemented into the engine so that when you attack with a weapon, you actually attack with that specific weapon. I also took the time while plugging in all the weapons to tweak the damage, range, and speed values for all of the weapons that are in the game, as well as the randomly generated prefixes and suffixes, uh, in an effort to really diversify the different weapon types. So now what happens is a weapon like a, uh, like a club weapon, like a shillelagh, feels very different to a sword like a saber which in turn feels very different altogether to a smaller, faster weapon like a Kukri, for example. I'm very happy with how it's coming along. The actual damage dealing smear out the front is uh, still a holdover from earlier on, so it might not look like this in the final thing. I'm gonna have to do some work on it. But apart from that, the weapon's looking great. Likewise, the ranged weapons are all starting to really settle in their different roles as well, with rifles and muskets uh, being more of a hard hitting long range weapon with uh, slower reloads compared to a shotgun's ability to hit more than one target at once, or a pistol's sort of all-around versatility. Throwing weapons do feature in Commandment as well, but they're still being tweaked to touch. As a recording, I'm halfway through rewriting the, the actual attack code for them, and I neglected to get any footage of them when they were working. So I'm sorry, I can't show you anything right now. You have to see it next month. I also played around with the AI for the enemy melee attacks, the pathfinding and their positioning. Um, there are a couple of pre-existing issues that I sort of put in the I'll do that later basket, um, which I decided to fix up, as well as tweaking the way that the melee enemies pathfind um, when they're near the player. So they're a lot more effective now in encircling the player and sort of getting around you rather than all kind of queuing up in single file. Essentially what they do is they reserve a spot around the player and then they pathfind to that rather than directly try to get to the player. As just a typical person playing the game, no one's really going to notice this, but 
it just means they're more effective at sort of positioning themselves in a like a logical fashion. So it means they're a little bit harder because they, they get into a better position quicker, but it also means that the player to succeed has to keep repositioning themselves as well. I also fixed up a few little uh, rendering issues and other little boring things like that. I, I just had like certain elements that were basically drawing on the wrong layer and different sort of wall features would draw at the inappropriate depth. So a wall that's supposed to be behind you would kind of be in front of you. And these are all sort of like known things. And I, I was just like, yeah, I'll sort that out later. But it's been sitting there for a couple of months now. And while I was in the code doing similar things, I, I figured might as well fix them up now as I go. So, um, so that all works. That's nice. Um, there are a few problems with the level generation still, but I'll be pick fixing them up shortly as well. Occasionally it does just weirds out and does some really wacky stuff, but I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. I just haven't got around to actually fixing it, so that'll be coming soon too. All right, thanks guys. That's it for this month of Just Make Game. Uh, thank you to everyone for watching and a big special extra thank you to everyone that supported us so far on Patreon. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, there's a link in the description and you can give us money. Major funding for Just Make Game was provided by Vin Hill, Raf Bluffen, Morton Schuenborg, Ivan Makarovich, Dead Ken, Connor Bowen, Ben Kersnowski, Alan Pask, and viewers like you. Okay, I'll see you guys next month for another episode. Bye.